is Edom, and this video will be about IoT or the Internet of Things. Have you ever experienced a mental breakdown moment before, thinking like, oh gosh, I didn't turn off the lights or the gas stove, or maybe I forgot to lock the door. But to make matters worse, nobody's at home. That was considered a big problem in the past, but not anymore. These days, you can turn on or off household devices as you want, anytime and anywhere, as long as you have the internet. This convenient technology is based on IoT, aka Internet of Things. So many things, such as refrigerators, smartwatches, washing machines, cars, doorbells, thermostats, are all connected over mobile applications using IoT. So what exactly is Internet of Things? IoT is a system of interactive devices connected to the internet to transfer and receive data from one to the other. They are all devices connected to the internet that can be monitored remotely. ACs and smart doorbells, thermostats, smoke detectors, and security alarms can interact to share data with users over mobile applications. For example, if you set the alarm to leave your house, your IoT system will turn off the lights and will activate the security system and open the garage door and start your car. Or if your morning alarm goes off, the IoT system will open the curtain, make your morning coffee, and turn on the water heater. IoT can be applied not only to smart homes, but also to other areas like manufacturing, transportation and logistics, retail, farming, and healthcare. For example, UPS is using an IoT system to identify the shortest and most fuel efficient routes. This really helped them save more fuel and make bigger profits. IoT can also provide farmers better yield and more efficiency with autonomous self-driving tractors, adaptive irrigation systems, soil health monitoring, and animal health monitoring systems. IoT can also be used in data science fields. IoT devices are connected to the network with gateways. These gateways process the information collected from the sensors and also transfer it to the cloud. Then, the cloud storages and processes all collected data. The collected data from the cloud will be used for further learning and inferences like big data, cloud computing, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Here is an example of big data. Sensors and smartwatches can deliver our heart rate information to smartphones through the internet. So, these IoT devices can gather big data and diagnose our health through this information. Although more efficient work has become possible through IoT, there are also several vulnerabilities, such as hacking and personal information leakage. Large-scale IoT hacking of medical devices in hospitals, cars, and the distribution industry can cause enormous damage. As IoT spreads, the risk of hacking increases. All IoT devices collect huge data from you, which causes great confusion of finding out whose data it is. Even though this is a task that we need to solve, IoT is being adopted in almost every industry. There will be 35.82 billion active IoT devices installed worldwide by 2021 and 75.44 billion by 2025, according to Statista. It is obvious that IoT is growing extensively to give humans efficiency and convenience. And that concludes the video.